Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Please log in to access your profile. Profile reconstruction complete. Please log in to access your profile. Please log in to access your profile. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Confirm psychological profile. Confirm military specialization. Confirm facial identification. Profile reconstruction complete. Identification confirmed. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets, learned to look out for herself. She got most of her unit killed on Torfin. She gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. 
You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. That's enough. Your soldiers act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Great. You pissed the captain off and now I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. I'm telling you, I just saw him. He marched by like he was on a mission. He's a Spectre. They're always on a mission. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Marines are meant to fight. You just fix us up and we're done. I know how things work, Commander. I've seen my share of combat, but it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the Captain. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, Doc, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. The Captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I'm a Marine, not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. We can handle this on our own. Unless something goes wrong. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. 
The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I don't like people making decisions about my future. This isn't about you, Shepard. Humanity needs this. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the Spectres, and he wants that beacon. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two.
Leave him. We need to finish the mission. Aye, aye, ma'am. Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? I need a status report, now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. You just left the rest of your unit behind to die? We held our position as long as we could. The Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Lieutenant Elenko and I will take care of this. Let me come with you, ma'am. The Geth slaughtered my unit. Give me a chance to get even. She knows the area, Commander. And we could use the extra firepower. Just don't forget who's in charge. Understood, Commander. You give the orders and I'll follow them. Move out! at the far end of this trench. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. 
Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Let's get moving. Williams, where's the camp? It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh god, they're still alive! Thank the Maker. Hurry! Close the door! Before they come back! How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved! The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard! Oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head! It was only a matter of time till he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Williams. Take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander.
Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? Nobody moves a muscle until we know who you are. Nice going, Cole. I told you we should have stayed hidden. It's okay. We're all on the same side here. We're just farmers. We've been hiding ever since that ship first showed up. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise! It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only... it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me, some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just I just knew there were some packages here, something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. I'm only gonna ask this once. Think long and hard before you lie to me again. Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh... No, no wait, I just remembered. <laughs> I, I just had it in my pocket. You might as well take that too. That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Would you rather be a snitch or a corpse? Powell! His name's Powell. No honor among thieves. That's all I know, really. So let's... Try to keep things friendly from here on in, okay? I have to go. Good luck.
Commander, it's Nihilus. A Turian? You know him? He's a Spectre. He was with us all along. Something's moving! Over behind those crates! Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! I like the way you hid behind those crates during the fight. Really helped us out. Thanks a lot. Me? But I'm just a dock worker. I don't even have a weapon. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone! If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too! You're Cole's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Hand over those grenades. Now. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Too many people died here for you to start jerking me around. Okay, all right. Th there was something else. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this.